This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 28. <clears throat> there be spirits that are great revenges within their fever, and they also squirks in the time of destruction they pour out the force and peace of wrath for him that made it. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Tehahu, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Makar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Wa'aki and Wa'akwaf, and I say Shalom. Police say an active shooter opened fire at a hotel outside Duluth tonight. At least two victims are dead, and so is the shooter. It happened in the city of Cloquet, just a couple of miles off of I-35. David Schumann is in the newsroom with the late breaking details. David, what can you tell us? Amelia, police warned the entire city to stay inside and lock their doors as they searched for this shooter. And then within the last 90 minutes, they lifted that shelter order. They say they found the shooter dead along with at least two other people. We're going to take you to the footage from the scene here. You can see dozens of squad cars, heavily armed officers, and ambulances set up outside the Super 8 there. Police said there were multiple victims, and an official with the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office told us three people are dead, including the shooter. We saw families, some of them carrying children, who were finally allowed to leave this parking lot tonight after hunkering down for a few hours. Again, police say the shooter is dead and they believe the threat is over. We're getting word that a press conference may happen soon where we could learn more about what exactly happened. Amelia? Thank you, David. Of course, WCCO is keeping an eye out for that press conference and we will bring you continuing coverage as soon as we learn more about tonight's shooting.